country yes, where there was injustice. I want to thank you for allowing me the opportunity to be able to talk to you today. I know that uh, I'm that old generation, but I'm the old generation that is going to stand up for justice and righteousness until I no longer stand. because I needed to lend my voice to the outrage about what's going on in this country relative to our people and the prison industrial system, yep. Yep. of which the police is only a segment. Mm -hmm. And I told folks from my organization, Blocks, Building Local Organization for Community Safety, that we had to ante up the conversation, we had to ante up the dialogue, that we can no longer be quiet about the fact that we know that there is a system in place in this country that is geared for oppression of the disempowered. That is what the prison industrial system is. And I wanted to add that note to this today. And I wanted y'all to know, today is today, but tomorrow, what y'all going to do? Okay. We fighting. Yeah. We fighting. We fighting. Fight fight what y'all going to be? Your name is Park. I'm over in English Avenue. They say English Avenue has the highest incidence of homicide in the state of Georgia. Jesus. They say we have the highest incidence of AIDS and HIV in the country. Jesus. Well, it's just uh, scheduled for demolition for downtown. They just want it. Yeah, and I'm standing in English Avenue to say that you're not going to use the police to be able to get it and to build yeah. our people up. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. Now, those of you all who are fired up today and you want to look at tomorrow, my people are in the audience. They got two flyers here, issues that you can use, you can work on. The Stafford family, I told y'all the other night that y'all going to weep tonight, but tomorrow morning, you got to step out. Yes. You got to stay out. Yes, you, you do. You got to stand up. Yes. yes. You got to speak out. Yes. yes. And we got a place where you can come to do that and be supportive. Yeah. I know it hurts. I know that you'd like for your child to be a... That's my child. I told mm. you that the other day, too. That's my child. He belongs to me. But I ain't going to stand around and let his death be in vain. Yeah. And all these children that we have lost, their lives will be in vain if we don't step up and keep building. So that's why I came out today. I want to... Say to you all, young people, you are the legacy. Yes. yes. I'm living on borrowed time, but I'm going to kick some in that borrowed time. That's right. That's right. That's right. I'm living on borrowed time, but I ain't going to let nobody tell me I'm too old to say no more. I'm living on borrowed time, but I'm not going to let nobody that tell me that I can't say no justice. No peace. So I want to thank y'all for this opportunity. We thank you too much.